Hello and welcome back to KGC Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how we prevent rust from returning on the classic car restoration projects that we have in. As you may have seen in last week's video, we did some plug welding on some new panels to go into an MGB. So the techniques that we use are perfect for this kind of work because we do this day in day out. The, the product that we use for the rust prevention is a product called POR15. Now you can get this from a company called Frost Autos. There'll be a, a link in the description below. With this paint, it's very usable in a number of areas. Not only does it have its rust prevention properties, it is also incredibly good at not chipping with stones. So if you're driving on the road, you get stone chips popping up in your wheel arches, it prevents, it stops damage with that. So it's incredibly hard wearing, which is very useful for a number of the areas on our classic cars. Now, we generally put this on the, under, the complete underside of the vehicle, as well as in all the awkward areas inside the vehicle that are difficult to get to with the spray gun. So in all the little cavities and just really awkward places to get to. Now, with this paint, you can't wash it out with normal thinners on the brush. You've got to buy specialist thinners for it, which is again available from Frost Autos. Or, alternatively, like we do, we just buy some cheap brushes and just use those, one use only, and the job is usually done. It will need a couple of layers of this paint, but we generally do a single layer and then we'll put in the seam sealer, then subsequent layers built up on top. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how we prepare the body shell and get started on painting it. So here we have our MGB body shell. Now all the welding has been done on the shell and the undersides already been painted, but we've prepared, started preparing the inside of the body shell. And you can see here, we've put in part of some new floors onto the top of the castle sections. So we've got a lots of welded areas, which have up, all the welds have been ground back and the whole area is ready for painting. So what we do is we use a, a 60 grit uh, sandpaper and unfortunately you've pretty much got to do it by hand. And we've sanded all, ev everywhere, has just been sanded inside here. So it provides a key for the paint to, to grip to. Where you've got the, the bare metal work, the paint will stick to it anyway, providing it's got enough scratches in it from your sandpaper or your grinder, it will grip to it. Once we've actually painted this and got the first layer on, anywhere that we've welded will then seam seal on top and then it'll get another couple of coats of the POR15. So, I'll make a start doing all the awkward little areas first and then we'll get on and start painting up these floor pans. Alright, this paint is very very easy to use, um, you just paint it as you would normally, but you want to try and get a reasonable uh, layer on, you don't want to go too thin with it. Um, you want to try and get a, a, a good layer on there, so get plenty on your brush to, so it gives good coverage. You, I mean, you'll, you'll notice when you come to use it how well and easy it's going on. But make sure you give plenty on, get plenty on there. It does say to give two or three coats anyway, um, but if you can, yeah make them two or three really good coats, it's going to work a lot, lot better um, in the long run for what you want to, for, for what it's for. Uh, uh, but once this is dried, um, it's usually about six, eight hours or so, so the, the, the following day it should be touch dry. Um, I like to leave it a few days more so that it's got enough time to harden off. Um, but once we've got this first layer done, 
will be going on to the seam ceiling, which will be the next video, which will come out later, well, it'll come out next week, on how to do the seam ceiling. And um, we'll go into all that then. Once the seam ceiling's done, we'll then add in, uh, we'll, we'll sand all this back, not back all the way back to bare metal, but we'll sand it all back, um, ready for its second coat, um, and then subsequent coats on there. Now, because this is a grey colour, the the inside of this car is actually going to be white because the car is a white car. So we're going, we've actually got some white top coat. So this is going to have two, maybe three layers of the grey undercoat, um, and then probably at least at least two if not three layers of the top coat as well. Um, the underside we've already done and that is in black. Now the black does have a slightly better uh, coverage than this grey primer. So the, the underside at the moment currently has had two coats of black and has been seam sealed on all the joints. So the underside is ready for sanding back for its, third, its first layer of top coat, which will be the third layer of paint on it. So that will build up the layers nicely on there. So essentially, that is it. So there we have it. That's a very quick guide to how we prepare the bodywork once it's been all welded, everything ready to get the rust prevention in there before it goes to the paint shop. As I said, the, the next video will be seam sealing, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss it out next time. In the meantime, don't forget to like, leave any comments below, and until next time, happy plastic motoring.